A recent sleep study of moms, tweens, and teens nationwide shows some surprising details about bedtime rituals. One thing the study found is that 49% of moms spend up to an hour luring their kids out of bed in the morning. Sarah Fredman joins us this morning. Sarah, what are some of these things that parents, uh, some tips that parents can take when putting their kids to bed and waking them up? Well, we hear often that many new moms with new babies at home develop a bedtime ritual, mm -hmm. um, which is starting 20 to 30 minutes before bedtime and creating very soft sounds and um, anything you can to facilitate sleep. And so um, if you start that 20 to 30 minutes ahead of time for babies, surely you can do that all through childhood. Mm -hmm. And even once your child is old enough, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years old, educating them about the importance of sleep making mm -hmm. sleep a priority, and what are the things that you need to do before going to bed in order to get your body to relax and be ready for sleep. How important is sleep, especially for kids who are in middle school and high school? Uh, very important. Um, we see that for children, you know, they, they have a lot going on during the day. Not only do they need to be alert and awake for their school time, but even after school, many of them go on to participate in extracurricular activities. And so all the sleep that's required for them, they definitely need to get. And we're looking at a day and age with iPods and iPhones mm -hmm. and smartphones where it makes it really hard to get into bed and put those things down. What are some sleep habits that every family should know? Um, I think make sleep a priority is huge. Um, be very disciplined with your sleep schedule. More often than not, we do everything that we need to do in a day, which means cramming as much in as we can. And as a parent, you set the um, uh, example for your children. Mm -hmm. And so you need your children to follow your example, which means if sleep's a priority for you, then it'll be a priority for your children. So if you try to cram all these things in and the last thing on your priority list is sleep, mm -hmm. then that's going to be what suffers. Um, however, if you make sleep a priority, then you're able to get everything done during the day, worry about the things that you need to a little earlier in the day, and then get to bed at a timely manner. And your kids will follow as well. Yes, exactly. Thank you very much, Sarah, for joining us this morning.